I expect you'll betray me in the end, Arthur. You're the type. That's so. You tell me. But, um, I'm watching you. Hey, I hear Mary's been seen again. Sure. Well, I always thought, well, she seems real nice. She had better ideas than me. She ain't the only one. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Everything okay, Miss Grimshaw? Yes, finally about done cleaning up after that party. Sean does not do things by half. Make sure you stay close. Ugh. What time is it? Good morning, Arthur. Why don't you sit, Arthur? You okay, Arthur? I guess. He seemed kind of worried. Of course I'm worried. What about? The whole world's changing. Even I see that now. Our time is pretty much past. They don't want folk like us no more. It's their rules will be damned with you. No more outlaws. No more killers. Now it's us being hunted. Stop it. We went and made our choices a long time ago, so I guess we gotta pay for our sins. Oh, Arthur. What a sad world we live in. Well, I ain't sad, Mary Beth. I'm just I'm realistic about what's coming. But I can kill an animal, needlessly. I don't know. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. You're the only one of these fools knows just how lost he is. Ain't that the truth? <sighs> Ain't that the truth? Good morning.
So you brought the loudmouth kid back to us. I'm sorry. I wanted them to hang him. <laughs> well, he amuses me. You done good, Arthur. Loyalty. You busy, Arthur? Not too busy. Why? I heard about a house. Could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said... said it was really... freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. And they're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. But they're well hidden in the woods. That sounds pretty dubious. Of course. Uh, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. It's up north, on the other side of the river from Valentine. Best way there is through Cumberland Falls, though. You know it? Sure, or less. Okay, we're pretty close now. Let's stop and go on foot from here. Just up the hill this way. Follow me. Should be able to get a good look at the place. I want to make sure we don't run into any surprises. Sure. Apparently, this family's been isolated for so long, they started talking in their own weird dialect. They really don't like outsiders, especially on their turf. <sighs> you just keep selling me on this job, don't you? No. Oh, it's a big place, right? your binoculars. Well, there's a pretty big barn in the back. It's not a bad place to start looking. There must be a lot of people living here. It's a large house. This could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Boy, I, I think we need to draw them out somehow, and... I got an idea. Follow me. All these trees? I can't get a proper look at the place. Well, hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us, too. Coast seems clear so far. Yeah, so far. Come on, let's hide behind this shed. See if we can hear what they're saying. Just stay quiet. Maybe you've hunted pig this time once, Mal. Where you been now, Newt? 
Don't be boiling now, Pappy. I was gone for ten minutes, I was. You can only get all an hour day long, because Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? Yo, Edie, get all the jam. You shut your gulper, or I'll flag her your felt, I will. You need to pull it up, boy. Up. Go guard the shed. Go! You understand what they're saying? Not much of it. What are we doing, Javier? Okay. You take cover by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, and then you jump them, okay? What kind of distraction? You'll see. Has to be under here. There's no place else I could store it. Hey, Arthur. Give me a hand here. I told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Yeah, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Right, sounds good. Did good with Sean. You wouldn't have got him without you. 